In this episode of Coach's Eye, we are, so while we're looking at a particular surfer, we're actually looking at a, also a particular wave. And what we're looking at is this surfer's ability to be really comfortable in a situation that most of us would find really uncomfortable. And for that, we're going to be looking at Nathan Florence at HT's. <laughs> Before we bring up this footage, and this bit of footage for, for me is is really fascinating. When 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 Clay showed it to me, I was like, we we have to do a coach's eye on that on there, not just because of the surfer, but also just what's going on in the water here. But before we bring that up, I just want to tell you about the about the Ombi app. If you download the Ombi app now, you're going to get two weeks free access to our premium content. You're also going to be able to access exclusive content that we don't put out on any of the other social channels. So make sure that you head over to the App Store, download that app right now. It's available on both Android and Apple. So you've surfed HTs. You said to me, oh, I've surfed it at, at about six foot. This is this is bonkers That's crazy. More than, more than six foot. But just tell us a little bit about HTs. Okay, so a um, little bit of a background story. So when I was making a lot of surfboards for some of the pros that would come to um, South Africa, their first stop would be Durban. They used to have the Gunston 500 and the, um, the Belito Mr. Price event. Okay. Okay, so they'd have two events there. Then they'd head across to J-Bay, do the J-Bay event, and then they'd bugger off and you wouldn't see them again for another year. So... Um, the one year Jamie O'Brien came and stayed with a friend of mine, um, Paul Daniels, and Paul bought Jamie and he got a board from me and I kind of got to know Jamie. He rode the board in the contest, I think he made quarters or something like that. Um, so I, I got to kind of know him and um, fast forward a couple of years um, in the Mints and it's like booming HTs. For, for me, it's like six foot with some eight foot sets and it's just down to cap on the outside reef and I am absolutely shitting myself. But I think the reason why I'm shitting myself is because in the lineup there's a couple of people in the water and there's this bit of pecking order but everyone's nervous. But on the outside... What are they nervous about? Well, it's only about head hard deep. Okay. Okay, and it's like some almost double overhead waves and if you don't make the drop or you get fall off in the barrel, you get annihilated. But if you make it, it's fine. There's nothing wrong. But if yep. you don't make it, the consequences are really heavy. So I was super, super nervous. But the funny thing, I saw um, Jamie O'Brien and Poopsie and all those other guys sitting at the top. So I paddled past everyone <laughs> and went and sat by them. And it was so good because the energy up there was so much more relaxed. Right. But the energy from there down was, was horrible because everyone had this nervous tension. Right. So when I got there, they were laughing and high-fiving and going, this is just like backdoor, but only softer. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> so here I am thinking, like, I'm, I'm so nervous. It's a cross reef and I'm, I'm going to get, like, flesh ripped out of me yep. and pay my pound of flesh to kind of get my barrel. And here these guys are just toying with it, thinking, oh, it's just like home, but soft. So did you, did you actually sustain any injuries? I didn't sustain any injuries, no. Okay, nice. Did manage to almost ride Jamie O'Brien over. I kind of had a late drop. He was pushing under and I went over the falls and nearly jumped on his board and him. But other than that... That's a good story. Yeah, things were okay. And so, so for those of you... So I, I know that I mentioned HTs a few times here. For those of you that, uh, that, that, may, that may be new, new to surfing, HTs is otherwise known as hollow trees and it's, and it's, it's, it's a breakover in, in, in the mentalities. Yeah. Yep. So I don't know if you know this, but basically the angle of HTs, the swell has to wrap almost... 360 degrees to get in there. Yeah. So it's, it's a very unique spot. Anyway. All right, we... enough, enough storytelling. Let's get into the craziness that's about to unfold in the water. Here we go. You can hit play. Even touching the iPad scaring me a little bit. So that's just a bit, so I've, I've started just where you sort of get a bit of an idea of the wave. So this, this, this so video is actually from Nathan Lawrence's so if you, channel. If you, if you, if you look back here. Yeah. All right, I've got to show you something. So as this wave's coming, you might not be able to tell, but there's this... Wave over here, and then there's this double little bit of a wave over here. That's called like the like the second reef. Yep. And generally, when that starts to cap and break, you know it's it's serious. Yep. Most of the time, you only surf in the inside. So these guys are sitting on the second reef, and this one didn't cap. So 
So it wasn't big enough. So it wasn't wasn't big enough. <laughs> yeah. Then it, then it hits the inside section. You get, to get all these crazy oh. barrels happening. So when, it's it's such a perfect barrel that when you end, so again over here, here we, we can start to see the line coming in. Oh. Yeah. So can you see the double up on that? So it's almost like there's a wave here, but then the bottom starts dropping out over there. See that? Check. Is this the wave? Is this? They're, they're all the wave. Okay. So there's. Here, here, look at. I got pause, pause, Just pause there. This. This bit here is what I find really interesting. That that spot there, because he he had what looked like I know it's a big wave, but it looked like a fairly easy roll in, and then all of a sudden it goes, no, 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 I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to mess you up. Ooh, yes, yeah, so I'd be crying is, if I was on this wave. When you are riding barrels, you are looking for for this draw off the bottom. Like you, you're trying to say, see what's happening on the reef over there. So, pay attention to this bit of a lump over here, almost right in the beginning of the screen over there. Mm. Okay, you have so to be. I'm talking about that lump there is the barrel. So it's it's kind of how the water hits the reef there and there. With, this is your barrel section, and depending on how deep you kind of fade that, is how deep you're going to get barrel. So I suppose it's all about reading the barrel. This one, this is obviously. Look at that Not thing. Nathan, but um, it's one of the locals riding a slightly bigger board. Um, he just kind of sits low to bottom, got a really, really nice barrel. It's not the one that freaked me out there. No, I've kind of just started this from the beginning because I want to, because because what, what I want you to get from this video is the weird thing that this wave is doing. It, it like leads people into a false sense of security and then and then goes, nah, I'm changing on you. So he has an interesting thing too. The wave's breaking like way out the back. Um, we've got a surfer here that's in between. They're, they're not close in enough to surf the inside, and they're not far out enough to catch the set. So they, in what we call this, the, the midfield, and sometimes the midfield's good because you can shoot out and get the set, and you can um, paddle in and get the insiders, but at this particular spot, the guy's in no man's land. Um, so I don't think he gets this one, or does he? No, he does this one. No, he goes it? All right. Fair enough. Again, those are the smaller insiders. Really fun, really I think this clean. could be Nathan Florence on this one here. Yeah. Okay. Now, I am interested. He's only surfing a 6-2. Yeah, so if you watch the... So if you head over to Nathan Florence's channel and watch the full video, then he... At the beginning of the video, there's a bit of an explanation as to the boards he's riding and that kind of thing. It's a really good video. Definitely yeah, check so it out. So here's the guy sitting in that midfield where... It's not steep enough to get it out the back. It can't get on the inside. And then I think over here we got Nathan Florence on the inside web. Yeah. Okay, so <sighs> at that point, he's not stressing in. Watch how much he paddles here. One. Yeah, how comfortable two, he is. A little bit of a glide in. I'm watching it and my head's itching. Super comfortable just to take the drop, get his head under that, and then just to stand tall. And um, he's, he's got a GoPro in his mouth, and the angle's... On his channel, amazing. Watch when he comes out of it with the speeds. See how nice and stacked he is, hands nice and straight? Yeah. Uh, so he legs nice and straight, and then he's got his coffee cup hand forward, which is like that stabilizer, which is helping him on the tow wedge rail. Yeah. So look, I mean, we're going we're gonna to show some more of this. Yes, thing. Okay, do that, and then and then, then we'll, we'll loop back to what I, what, what I was going to say. Here we go. The first look at the double line! Ooh. So, and this thing just scares the living daylights out of me. That scares you. It's the scariest wave, mate. Oh. He's on a 6-2. He just goes down. Was a whale. There was, it looked like there was a whale down, in the wave. And down, oh, and my, down, oh and down, and down. He hasn't stopped going down yet. There he reaches the bottom. Look at the lip on that thing. My stress levels are through the roof just watching it. I feel like I'm going to pull one eyebrow off. Oh, and the scary thing is too, okay, is this blowback over here. Like, the lip's breaking and it's drawing water up, so it kind of sucks that foam too. And it often hits your fins and just like side swipes you. Um, so he manages to navigate that really, really well. Now, the interesting thing is what we call the coffee cup. Yeah. So if you're body surfing, you'd put that hand out to stabilize you. So he's got that hand out and he's almost leaning into the wave. So if he does get side swiped, he's kind of getting that balance. 
it's it's absolutely nuts. Nice and chilled, relaxed, stacked, playing with it. Life is good. I feel exhausted. So <laughs> Only watching. Even, even when he pulls out, look at his body language. Look how chilled and relaxed he is. Yeah. And I think that's obviously just from growing up in Papua and Hawaii. Um, if if those Hawaiians come to HTs and go, hey, it's like backdoor but softer. Can you imagine how heavy backdoor pipeline and um, stuff is? Yeah, I mean, Nathan has got some awesome stuff on his channel. He's got some really good POV stuff as well because he's done it, as you can see, he's got the GoPro there. Yeah. So I definitely head over and check his, his channel out. What, so, so what I want to get out of this, because obviously this, this video was not only about that, that wave and how it's, it is a scary wave and what it's doing, but it's about being comfortable when we're uncomfortable. So what can we take away from Nathan so that we can apply to our surfing so that if we, if we ever do find ourselves in a situation where obviously we're not necessarily here, but it might be a slightly bigger day, we might be surfing a slightly heavier break than we normally do. It might be the first time over so, reef, for example. Look at this posture here that he's in, mm -hmm. all right? And then keep watching the posture, that posture, soft knees, hand up. You can turn the board, you can see everything. All right, so cue that into the barrel. <laughs> this looks so, this looks so cool in the barrel. I wish I was that cool when okay. I was surfing. So this is something when I did an interview with Kelly Slater. He told me that you can probably go full screen on us. No matter how crazy the situation is that you're in, if you're standing in a comfortable position, you're going to feel like you've got control over that situation. Whereas if you're standing in this tension, you're going to feel like you don't have control of that situation. So by being able to relax in an uncomfortable situation, you're able to feel what's necessary to be able to make the adjustments. But when there's tension, you're unable to feel. Yeah. Okay, so as crazy as the situation is in, um, when Nathan gets into those situations, he's, he, his body relaxes into that and he can make the necessary fine tuning um, for what the situation requires. Yeah. So, do you mind if I just share a little, a little thing no, here on this? So, obviously, being part of Ombi um, and surfing with Clay a lot, I get pushed into a lot of situations where I do get pushed out of my comfort zone. I do find myself in that uncomfortable situation a lot. And the other side of, of what I do here um, with Ombi is I also help people feel more confident when they're standing on stage and, and there's a there's, there's like a three-stage process which I take people through for speaking on stage but it also applies in the water and I've, and I've started to adopt this this method when we're in the water and that is that when I do find myself in a situation where I get triggered and I find myself tensing up you see our mind and body are connected the way that we feel shows up in our body but we can use our body to change the way that we feel it's this it's, 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 it's loop that happens so the first thing that normally happens when we get nervous is we hold our breath. As soon as we hold our breath, that locks in our body. So think about getting into a cold shower. You'd go, and you lock up the body. That locks in the tension, and then your brain instantly defaults to thinking about the negative. In this situation here, it could be, oh, I'm going to hit the reef, I'm going to fall off, I'm going to get taken over the falls, I'm going to get smashed up. So if we can focus on our breath, and then just relaxing the body, and then focusing on the outcome, so, I mean, you say, look where you want to go, it's, it's a really simple process to try and get ourselves into that state of being relaxed in an, in an uncomfortable situation but i do believe that it all starts with the breath just by remembering to breathe relaxing the body that then allows our mind to focus on whereabouts we want to be so hopefully that's that's a good little takeaway there and it's and that's from from my own personal experience of being pushed by clay out of my comfort zone quite a lot in situations where i have felt Really uncomfortable. Sometimes it is just too much for me, and I, I do and I do freak out. But the tool that I tap into is breath, body, brain. Those I, I, call, I call it the three Bs. So hopefully that is helpful so for you guys. There is that one thing. The only thing that Nathan has control over in that situation is his body. Yeah. And what he does is he relaxes it and makes it receptive, mm. so that um, he can control it even better. So in order to do that, though, he'd have to be breathing. If he held his breath, he'd tense up straight away. Correct. Cool. So, so great takeaway from Nathan. Thank you.
Yes, that was amazing. So obviously you can check out the whole video. I highly recommend that you do because it is a fantastic video. All you've got to do is head over to Nathan's uh, channel and you'll be able to see his video there and a whole bunch of extra ones. And while you're at it, while you're, while you're exploring the interweb, head over to the, to the App Store, download the Ombi app, get your two weeks free access to our premium content and you'll also get access to the Ombi method and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. So we will, uh, you go and do that and we'll see you in the next episode of Coach's Eye. Hey, Anthony here, and I want to take a few moments of your time to tell you about the amazing Ombi app, which if you haven't downloaded it yet, you are missing out. Here's three reasons why. Number one is this is where about you're going to get access, free access to the Ombi method. This is a huge collection of videos that are going to help you understand the Ombi coaching framework, where we talk about the ocean, the mind, the body, the equipment, just this simple program alone, I guarantee you, is gonna help you improve your surfing. Second reason why you wanna get into this app is because this is more than just an app. This is a community. People around the world posting up their questions, posting up their videos. They're getting feedback from other members in the community, the Ombi coaches, about how to improve their surfing. Also, there is a function on here where you can look at the members. If you just click near you, you can find out other Ombi members that are near you so that you can meet up, go surfing with them, hang out, coach each other. It's a really cool community. And the third reason why you wanna be downloading this app is because if you download it now, you can sign up to a free trial. This is gonna give you two weeks access to all of our premium content. This is a monthly challenges. This is a live Zoom calls. This is the library of all the different programs that we have released at Ombi. There is over 600 videos inside that. So that's two weeks free access. I suggest you take two weeks off of work because you're gonna need it to get through all of the videos. So look, all you gotta do, head over to the App Store, download the app, and I'll see you inside your phone.